Welcome back everyone, it's Mike Espo's video and what's it worth Wednesday? Let's get started with this little Rolls Royce. This is the first car we're doing is a number 44 and believe it or not, it has moving parts. The trunk does open up. On the bottom of this car, it says Made in England by Lesney. Doesn't say anything at, at the time, matchbox at all. Also in the back of this car, there's a little, looks like a spare tire cover, right there on the right. Now, this car, the way it sits without a box, is anywhere between $10 and $14. This one has the white interior. But they also make this car with completely white wheels. And it does have a little bit higher value. This car was played with, as you can tell by the wheels. It's in my collection. Steering wheel is on the right hand side as it should be and it shows very nice The best one sold in July that I could find for $85 new in the box uh, in, From the United Kingdom and right now While this video is going on there's one for sale for $80 also new in the box from the United Kingdom one sold for $37 in the box plus shipping in July. Now, if you just take a quick look, it does have red tail lights, it does have a license plate, that's the Rolls Royce Phantom 5. So moving right along, we have another ambulance, number 14, Lomas Ambulance. It's also made in England by Lesney. Now, this also has moving parts. Let's see if I can get it open. And inside is a complete interior. Three seats, stretcher, a back little space to put like a shelf on. Done very nice. LLC Ambulance. Number 14. Now I call this the high ambulance because last show I did, I did two low top ambulances. The crazy thing about this ambulance is they made no steering wheel for it. So you have seats and in fact the seats are 60-40 seat but no steering wheel. So this one here is, is selling for the way it sits now, $2 to $10, any day of the week. But now, this same exact ambulance in number 14A, with gray wheels and the cross on top, the front is a little different, number 14A, is, is much more of a rare of an ambulance, and that one is like $30. I don't have that one myself. So this one here, I would say is worth $10. $10. Now, I took this Matchbox out, 2021. And in 2021, Matchbox Moving Parts is plastic doors. And this is 164. And this is an ambulance moving parts with metal doors and I just wanted to show you the comparison of the two together they're both really cool so moving right along a favorite of everybody's number 23 made in England by Leslie but on the bottom it says Matchbox Series number 23 Trailer Caravan. Now, they made this to have the top pop off. And there you have it inside 
You have a sink, you have a stove, full refrigerator, seating like a diner, two and two across from each other, and they made the top come off. When you buy this on eBay, there's a lot of these for sale missing the top. And I couldn't find a lot of them in a box. Has four wheels and the tow hook. And the crazy thing about this tow hook is it actually works. When you tow it on the car, there's a little piece of plastic here that's part of the interior. See, it pops up. And that holds the tow hook onto the car. So I have two of them here. This one right here, the paint is flawless. And this one's been played with a little bit. Both have tow hooks. Both are pretty cool. So this one, the top, as you can see, is worn and yellowed. And this one, the top is snow not snowball white, but very white. The tow hook is in excellent condition. The interior is in excellent condition. So very easy. 10 on this trailer. $20 on this trailer. And a lot have sold. In the last three months, this vehicle, the trailer, has sold anywhere from $3 to $45. Um, there is one for sale right now. $100, brand new in the box. Basically, it looks just like this. Uh, honestly, exactly like this. Flawless paint, but with a mint box. So this is a very, very cool. In fact, I was going to show these two next month because they're pink. So moving right along, we have a 1981 Cadillac. This is from my collection. This is the card that goes with it. It's two-tone. It's never been played with. You can tell by the wheels. Now, 1981. This one here, I'll put $15 on. But again, you could get this on the card anywhere from $10 to $25. I don't have the plastic part and the card's in rough shape. It's broken on the top. But also, very nice piece. Just $15. Now, Here's an, a T-Bird. Now, I've shown a T-Bird before, but not with a card like this. It is so unpunched and so flat and so mint. It's in a protective case. There's the back of it, the side, the front, metal on metal. So, I have two of these, and we'll, I'll get to show you both of them. So, this... This I put $30 on. Uh, two of them sold in July, or June or July, anywhere from $25 to $45. And there it, there it says right there, metal flake paint. And there's the second one I have, metal flake paint. This card is in better shape, and this car is in better shape. It's just the way it goes. This is the, the better car, and this is the better card. And my last car for tonight. Now this is a 1937 Bugatti number 2526. And this is all metal. And the reason why I'm really stressing the part about all metal. Because a lot of the guys out there are fantastic with their cars. The body's metal. The chassis is metal. It has... Check out this rear. The spare tires are double spare tires. The, the, that little chrome grill with the two headlights, that's plastic. But the fenders, you guys know who you are, who left me comments, which is great, about what's metal on some cars and what's plastic. These fenders are part of the back of the body, which is all metal. There's your two taillights. They did not paint them. Metal. This front part of the body is metal, and this, this car is another car. 
that has some serious weight to it. I put $30 on this one just because it is so mint. Check out the front of this car. The camera doesn't do justice to the two, two color paint on this car. White walls. And I'm surprised it doesn't say here, new wide white walls. Because in a lot of them it does. But this is a beautiful car. So, if you take a look back here. Two 57 T-Birds. And I also have two Stutz Blackhawks, number 1126. One was in a show last week or the week before. Look at the paint on that. The pinstripe on both of them are unbelievable. Well, before I end tonight's show, look for my weekend show, guys. Because I hit 2,000 subscribers a while back. I'm up to 2,040 now. And these two cars are going to be in my giveaway. The Stutz and the 57 T-Bird will both be in my giveaway box. So keep your eyes open for that video. This is my, where is it? 37 Bugatti. That's my favorite car for this Wednesday. Has a lot of weight to it. Well, I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Share this with your friends who are crazy about diecast cars. Until next time, God bless. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below, especially about this Bugatti with all metal parts, except for the front. That's plastic. Until next time, Mike Espo. Collect what you enjoy, and enjoy your collection.